Hello and welcome. This time we are going to talk about uh, temperature measurement. So we want to measure temperature. Okay. Temperature measurement. This is our goal. We want to measure temperature. We will get to know several methods uh, in the next few videos of how to measure temperature. What is always what is always the same? There is somewhere some sensor. Okay. The sensor has to be in contact with the surroundings where certain temperature yeah, theta that's a Greek letter called theta. It's a small one, small theta. Uh, this is because it's basically the hard T in Greek, in Greece, in Greek, in Greek. Yeah? In the Greek alphabet, it's basically a hard T theta for temperature. Okay, there is somewhere temperature. This here is our sensor, yeah? and the sensor is connected by some wires. And here we've got the usual thing with our amplifier and so on. Yeah. Buck, buck, buck. Okay. So what we actually measure, what we actually measure is not the temperature where we're interested in. We do measure the temperature of the sensor. Okay. This means the temperature of the sensor needs to have the same temperature as we want to measure. Okay. It's obvious. Yeah. However, the sensor has a certain mass, m, yeah. and the sensor also has a certain uh, thermal resistance to get the temperature from the surroundings. Yeah. It either is too hot, then it needs to get away heat, yeah? or it is too cold, then it needs to get heat. Yeah? And how much heat is defined by the mass of the sensor, of course. Yeah? Since we do want to have a very dynamic behavior and also do not want to influence our environment with our sensor, yeah? we have to look that the mass, yeah? the mass of the sensor, should be very low. Yeah? This shall be small, yeah? because then I need less heat going in and out there yeah? and influence the temperature outside less yeah? if we have a big sensor. Okay? So the mass of the sensor should be relatively small yeah? to get a good measurement of the temperature. There is even some warmth which is transported outside yeah? and that's very that's very hard to calculate. Yeah? So there are connection wires and so on and they also take away warmth from here. Yeah? Wärme transport, energy transport, simply energy is simply taken out here. Yeah? In usual temperatures with usual let's say powers here it does not really matter, but if we want to measure really, really low temperature with, with very tiny, tiny power here, and we, then this is difficult. Okay. The accurate, the more accurate this uh, thing needs to be, the more we have to look into these details. Yeah? That's one thing: the mass of the temperature. Yeah? The other thing is usually. We do have here some voltage, yeah. measure voltage, UM, and we do have here some current. We do have here some current and measurement current. Whenever we have voltage and current somewhere, yeah, whenever we have this, we do have also power. So the power, the measurement power of the sensor is the voltage multiplied by the current. This power is brought into the system. 
there is some self-warming of the sensor just because we connect it electrically. Okay? The sensor is getting warmer. Selbsterwärmung. Okay? Self-warming effect. Now it depends a little how much does this influence my measurement. Okay? So there is, there is a possible way to deal with this. Say we do measure wrong, that's the wrong measurement, the wrong temperature, yeah? Selbsterwärmung, and this equals some factor. Yeah? Then the resistance of this of this sensor, yeah, at a certain temperature, of course, because the resistance of the sensor is usually a function of temperature, multiplied by the measured current squared. Okay, so this is the power, power brought in, and this factor here. Mm -hmm. What's up with this factor? This factor can be low or high. It is very low, so this means even even a big uh, power which I bring in does not influence the measured temperature too much if the sensor is, for instance, inserted into, into some liquid, into some flowing liquid. Okay? If it's so it's the sensor is in a water flow, the water flow continue there's not there's the, the, it continuously takes away the power, it does not really influence the measurement and this factor is very low. Yeah? Then we're talking about here uh, of values between 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 Kelvin per milliwatt. Okay, so there's one milliwatt power, let's say, then we have, we are wrong somewhere between 1000 and 100 part of Kelvin. Okay. Flowing water. Flowing liquid. Because the liquid is able to transport away this power. If it's in standstill, huh? if it's in standstill, we are at 0 0.0025 up to 0 0.5 Kelvin per milliwatt. This is liquid. Liquid stand. Stand still liquid. Okay, so we are a little bit above this. Which liquid? It depends a bit a little bit on which liquid and how the sensor is formed and so on. If the heat can be put away very fast. And the worst case, of course, is if there is air and this air is not moving or some gas, let's say. Yes, yeah. Then we are at 0 0.1 up to, let's say, 1 Kelvin per milliwatt. Yeah. So this is gas. Gas stands still. 1 Kelvin per milliwatt. There is only 1 milliwatt of, of power. Yeah. And we are away already 1 Kelvin. Okay. So these two things. The mass of the sensor, which shall, shall be small to influence less, and of course the measurement current shall also be small. Yeah, but for really accurate measurements, I can calculate this out. Yeah? So these are systematic errors of my temperature measurement. So this is temperature measurement, and the common the common uh, uh, errors which I'm handling here. Yeah? Selbsterwärmung, self-warming, and of course the mass of the sensor which needs to be brought to the same temperature because we really measure the temperature of the sensor and not the temperature we're interested in. How such sensors may work, uh, there are several possibilities. Yeah? We will hear in our next videos. Next video we will talk about a very, very common thing resistance thermometers yeah we will learn how this how this is uh, done or used yeah. we have already used it in a in a previous video for our arduino oh, we will get to this we will get to this
for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.